somebody yes. that hasn't asked yet. You, you have an asked. Oh. Um, you're talking a lot about how uh, there's a lot of land in the state, but we don't have a lot of physical money, um, and that you want to create a lot of jobs um, geared towards green en energy and using that land. My question is, how are you going to deter outside external people from coming in and using our resources and exporting it? Um, you're talking about people from Canada coming down, yeah. harvesting our logs and going out. Um, I know we were talking a little bit about hydropower, and there's a, a company called Florida Light Power that has a hydroelectric dam up in the forks and um, on the Kennebec River. Uh, how, how can we stop them from using our energy sources and uh, use it either for us to use ourselves or to sell? Well, I, I think the, 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 um, the question is, is very well taken in that uh, um, the state of Maine sold, allowed the sale of its generating facilities off, out of central Maine power and uh, um, I think there are a lot of people that want, are wondering whether that was a mistake or not, um, that these uh, entities that generate electricity are now owned by other entities that are not within the state of Maine. And so uh, my attempt will be to have all of the value added here in the state of Maine. And uh, we can't prohibit it. We can't prohibit interstate commerce from happening or for, for, from, for wood to go to another country. We can't prevent it. It's free trade. It's, it's, it's a world market. But what we can do is encourage landowners through long-term deals, long-term wood supply, and long-term energy supply to keep that power and fiber in Maine and to keep it in a mill town where they're creating a job and adding all the value here. And we can do it through positive uh, uh, tax incentives as well. We've done it with TIFs, tax in increment financing. We've done it with pine tree zones and in which people receive a deal by creating jobs. We need to show people that their investment in Maine, uh, again, I'm not against the Canadians, they own most of the large mills in Maine today. The largest investor in Maine is, is not uh, um, China and Taiwan, uh, it's Canada. And so, and that's been that way for a while. But we want them to keep their value added piece in the state of Maine. And that's what my objective will be as governor. Or otherwise, we go back to the 1800s where we were a raw material exporter. You know, we cut the king's pines and we sent it to, uh, to make the king's ships. And uh, we don't want to go back that way. We want to add all that value here in Maine.